Good morning, afternoon or evening and welcome to our Virtual Senior Award Ceremony 2021. This event is about celebrating the achievements of our amazing young people and we're delighted that you've tuned in to share this with us. It's been another difficult year for us all, but despite the challenges we've all faced as a school community, there have been many positives for us throughout the session. Given the circumstances over the last year, we were unable to get involved in our usual school and community events, but perhaps this has made us even more aware of how important the school community is at bringing people together and supporting those within our community who need some extra help. There's no doubt that coming back to school in August was challenging for some, but for the vast majority, it was fantastic to be getting back to some degree of normality, even though this meant our love affair with sanitizer and masks would continue. We all had to adapt a little bit more as we moved to remote learning, remote everything in fact, even remote parents evenings, and who would ever have thought that this would be the case? I can't describe the disappointment we all felt when we learned we were moving back to lockdown two after Christmas. Staff and pupils were relieved that prelims had been completed, but we were, we were concerned about how we'd support our senior pupils to achieve their best in the run up to the exams. As usual, our staff did everything they could to support our learners throughout lockdown and through the evidence gathering in school when pupils started to return in March. I'd like to take the opportunity now to say a heartfelt well done to every one of our learners, whether they are singled out here or not. Everyone did an amazing job and put in so much effort to achieve their best during times which left some of us feeling isolated and really missing that social contact that we get when we're in school. However, this event is about celebrating those who have been singled out. Every young person celebrated here has been recognised for their focus, application, hard work and commitment to learning over the past year. So whether you're being recognised for an academic award or a values award in recognition of wider achievements, I would like to congratulate all of our award winners on their outstanding achievements. Indeed, as a result of these achievements, we have again chalked up some really encouraging statistics this session as far as our SQ results are concerned. Our S4, S5 and S6 pupils performed so well that we managed to continue our five-year positive trend across all measures. And that's for National 4, National 5, Higher and Advanced Higher Awards. We also like to ensure that we are faring well against other schools in authority and I'm delighted to report that in three of the above we were in the top three schools in Renfrewshire for this measure. Again, something for us to be really proud of. In terms of our leavers data, 96% of last session's leavers are now in a positive destination, which ranges from employment to volunteering to university. And on that note, can I take this opportunity to wish every single one of our leavers the very best for the future. And whilst their data is of course important for us, it's the people behind the data who matter. And this event is about highlighting the achievements of those people who have excelled last session. So in a moment or two, I'd like to sit back, relax and enjoy a brief look back at session 2021. But before we do, can I thank the Creative Industries class for all their hard work in planning and producing this video for us. And a huge thank you to all the performers who provided some entertainment for us to enjoy. I'll now hand over to Mrs Hood, who will introduce our BGE award winners. This part of our virtual award ceremony is to recognise and celebrate the achievements of our S1, 2 and 3 pupils throughout last session. In a time like no other, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of our BGE pupils for their commitment, focus and flexibility in what has been a very challenging year with it being a complex mixture of both in school and online learning. Many of our BGE pupils are being presented with subject learning awards nominated by teachers from all departments. These awards are recognising and celebrating young people who through their sustained hard work and endeavour in their studies have produced outstanding work both in school and with their online learning and have demonstrated excellent effort and progress throughout the whole school session. I congratulate each and every one of you in your achievements and the school is delighted to announce your successes.
Hi, I'm Ewan. And I'm Julia. And we are our new Heads of School for this year. We would like to thank Miss Hepburn and the Creative Industries class for organising tonight's award ceremony and making it run so smoothly. We'd also like to congratulate our new island captains and school leaders for their roles. And we are looking forward to working with all of you this year. Last year was very challenging. We were in and out of lockdowns and many lives of both staff and pupils were disrupted as a result of the pandemic. Despite this, everyone pulled through, worked extremely hard and achieved excellent results in their assessments. We want to congratulate everyone for their dedication and effort last year and achieving the amazing results that we are celebrating tonight, despite the difficulties that have faced us. This year, you and I are really excited to be a part of the leadership team to try and make Pizzo Grammar School a better place. As your heads of school for this year, we have decided to focus on several areas to continue the success of the Pupil Improvement Plan. This year, we would like to continue our focus on supporting positive mental health of all pupils by training them to run workshops for classes so we can raise further awareness over mental health and other related topics. We also aim to continue fundraising for worthy causes like the food banks and other charities by holding more fundraiser events to help those in need. Furthermore, we would like to continue to develop our already existing relationships with the local community and build stronger and lasting partnerships with them. To do this, we can work with the local community to develop a range of volunteering opportunities for pupils in the school. This would help to improve them with valuable skills and experiences that cannot be acquired through traditional classroom learning. In doing this, pupils can help the local community whilst gaining these skills which can be beneficial and remain with them for the rest of their lives. But more importantly, we also want to ensure that all your ideas are heard. This is why we want to encourage everyone to go and talk to their pupil forum reps about their ideas and aims for the school. This will then be discussed at people's forum meetings as well as people parliament meetings. Again, we would like to thank everyone for their hard work in achieving the successes of last year. We are really looking forward to working with all of you in the wider school and local community this year. We hope that during this year we can finally get a sense of normality and learn to live with COVID and we wish you all luck in the year ahead.
Good evening everyone. I hope you're enjoying this evening's celebration. I am delighted to be introducing our Values Awards. Our values of respect, compassion and integrity are central to everything that we do in Paisley Grammar School. And we encourage our young people to display these core values in and out of the school. Well done to all of those who display our values on an ongoing basis and to those who have won the awards this evening. More than ever, the start of this year's new school session is a time where we, as a school community, must reflect on the challenges and triumphs of a previous session. It's a time where we are able to celebrate the many, wide and varied successes of our young people within our school community. All senior phase pupils applied themselves through periods of both in-school and online learning to secure successful SQA awards and advanced higher, higher, National 5, National 4, National 3 and access to industry courses. It's my great pleasure to introduce our Senior Phase Awards. Congratulations to all of our award winners. The National 4 Maths Award winner is Sam Edgar. The National 4 Maths Additional Award winners are Cara McMillan, and Sean Taylor. The National 5 Maths Award winner is Jocelyn Laverty. The National 5 Maths Additional Award winners are Alina Shazad and Summer Carmichael. The Higher Maths Award winner is Jack Young. The Higher Maths Additional Award winners are Ewan Houston and Charlotte Collins. The Advanced Higher Maths Award winner is Emily Thompson. The Advanced Higher Maths Additional Award winners are Megan Atta and Jack Morrison. The National 5 Drama Award winner is Emily Parkinson. The National 5 Drama Additional Award winners are Emma Corrigan and Alice Connie. The Higher Drama Award winner is Zach Molino. The Higher Drama Additional Award winners are Jack McFadgen and Abby Kerr. The Advanced Higher Drama Award winner is Alexander Migliaro. The Advanced Higher Drama Additional Award winner is John Hay. The National Four Award winner is Delina Bear. The National Four English Additional Award winners are Ibrahim Wahid and Matthew Little. The National Five English Award winners are Jocelyn Lafferty and Kieran Matthijs. The National Five English Additional Award winner is Hamida Oyedepo. The Higher English Award winner is Ewan Houston. The Higher English Additional Award winners are Grace Aitchison, and Charlotte Collins. The National Four Practical Woodwork Award winner is Amy Glenn. The National Five Practical Woodwork Award winner is Struan Barkley. The National Five Practical Woodwork Additional Award winners are Kira Duncan and Scott Mackay. The National Four Design and Manufacture Award winner is Sophie Watt. The National 5 Design and Manufacture Award winner is Nia Tahir. 
The National 5 Design and Manufacture additional award winners are Luke McIntosh, Alexei Patrikios and Lily McEwen. The Higher and Design and Manufacture award winner is Belle McCormack. The Higher Design and Manufacture additional award winners are Devon McRoberts and Ewan McLean. The National 4 Graphic Communication Award winner is Jack Trelfer. The National 5 Graphic Communication Award winner is Nicola Wright. The National 5 Graphic Communication Additional Award winners are Alina Shahaz, Jocelyn Laberty and Kieran Matais. The Higher Graphic Communication Award winners are Kitty Hunter and Jack Young. The Higher Graphic Communication Additional Award winners are Abby Irvin and Claire Fisher. The Advanced Higher Graphic Communication Award winner is Jack McNaughton. The Advanced Higher Additional Award winners are Lily McLaughlin and Jagpal Kuna. The National 4 Art and Design Award winner is Tala Horani. The National 4 Art and Design Additional Award winners are Jenna McLaughlin and Charlie McCurdy. The National 5 Art and Design Award winners are Amy Mackay and Alex McLean. The National 5 Art and Design Additional Award winners are Ruby Langfield and Summer Carmichael. The Higher Art and Design Award winner is Kitty Hunter. The Higher Art and Design Additional Award winners are Katie McNair and Heather Shields. The Advanced Higher Art and Design Award winner is Caitlin O'Hara. The Advanced Higher Art and Design Additional Award winners are Isla Forrester and Lily McLaughlin. The Higher Photography Award winner is Caitlin O'Hara. The Higher Photography Additional Award winners are Emma Ritchie and Rosie Marr. The Creative Look Award winner is Grace Aitchison. The Creative Look Additional Award winners are Lola Lavelle and Rosie Marr. The National 5 RMPS Award winners are Hamidat Ayedepo and Dylan McWilliams. The National 5 RMPS Additional Award winner is Alexander Patrikios. The Higher RMPS Award winner is Lewis Given. The Higher RMPS Additional Award winners are Sean Kelly and Zara Rousen. And now for philosophy, the National 5 Philosophy Award winner is Caden Weir. And the Higher Philosophy Award winner is Struan Barclay. The Higher Philosophy Additional Award winners are Lewis Given and Lewis McLean. National 4 Physical Education Award winner is Delina Berry. And the National 4 Physical Education Additional Award winner is Tony Kerr. The National 5 Physical Education Award winner is Amy Briscoe and the National 5 Physical Education Additional Award winners are Amber Martin and Lily McEwen. And finally, the Higher Physical Education Award winner is Freya Schofield and the Higher Physical Education Additional Award winners are Tess McCormack and Jack Hasson.
It's no secret that woman. National Four Geography Award winner is Tiana Andrews. Our National Five Geography Award winner is Kieran Matthijs. Our additional National Five Geography Award winners are Harry Devine, Hazel Adams, Callum Hunter and Alex Thompson. Our Higher Geography Award winner is Priya Schofield. In addition, we have three other Higher Geography Award winners and they are Gemma English, Kirsty Adams and Mohamed Masood. Our National Four Modern Studies Award winner is Tyler Watt and our National Five Modern Studies Award winner is Holly Milligan. We have two additional National Five Modern Studies Award winners and they are Jocelyn Laverty and Nicola Wright. Our Higher Modern Studies Award winner is Lewis Martin and our two additional Higher Modern Studies Award winners are Struan Barclay and Charlotte Collins. In history, our National Four Award winner is Amy Glenn. Our National Five History Award winner is Amber Martin. We have two additional National Five History Award winners and they are Lucy Stewart and Tegan Kirkwood. Our Higher History Award winner is Jack McFadgen. And our two additional Higher History Award winners are Claire Fisher and Zach Mullingham. In business management, um, the National Four Business Award winner is Charlie McCurdy and additional award winner is Chris Kendrick. Well done guys. The National Five Business Management Award winner is Amber Martin and Felicity Michael Kenny and Lucy Stewart as the additional award winners. Well done girls. For Higher Business Management, the award winner is Julia Dawes and additional award winners are Fiona Bevington and Victoria Torres. Well done again, girls. In Advanced Higher Business Management, Paisley Grammar award winners are Ewan Barclay, followed by the additional award winners of Lewis McLean and Alexander Lang. Well done, boys. In Administration, at National 5 level, the award winner was Amy Briscoe, and the additional award winners were Hazel Adams and Hamidat Oyedipo. Well done again, girls. In higher administration, the award winner is Emma Brow, and the additional award winners of Gemma English and Sarah Forbes. Computing Science, the National Five award winner was Kieran Matthias, with additional award winners of Dylan McWilliams and Jamie Russell. Well done, boys. And for Higher Computing Science, the award winner for 2020-21 to was Andrew May and additional award winners of Heather Dundas and Harry Megan. Well done. The National Four Physics Award winner is Rachel Crawford. The National Four Physics Additional Award winners are Benjamin Ferry Legault and Lewis Gunn. The National Five Physics Award winner is Luke McIntosh. The National Five Physics Additional Award winners are Nicola Wright and Callum Hunter. The Higher Physics Award is Ewan Houston. The Higher Physics Additional Award winners are Charlotte Collins and Joshua Akinkunri. 
the National 4 Chemistry Award winner is Tiana Andrews. The National 4 Chemistry Additional Award winners are Chloe Ritchie and Matthew Little. The National 5 Chemistry Award winner is Alina Shazad. The National 5 Chemistry Additional Award winners are Holly Milligan and Dylan McWilliams. The Higher Chemistry Award winners are Emma Bruff and Ewan Houston. The Higher Chemistry Additional Award winner is Julia Dawes. The National 4 Biology winner is Christopher Harley. The National 4 Biology Additional Award winners are Travis Tate and Ibrahim Reed. The National 5 Biology Award winner is Holly Milligan. The National 5 Biology Additional Award winners are Elena Shazad and Hazel Adams. The Higher Human Biology Award winners are Emma Bruff. The Higher Human Biology Additional Award winners are Alexander Lang and Joshua akin -Kunri. The Advanced Higher Biology Award winners are Emily Thompson. The Advanced Higher Biology Additional Award winners are Caitlin Lockhead and Rory McTavish. I'm pleased to announce that the National 5 Spanish Award winner is Summer Cono. The additional National 5 Spanish Award winners are Lily McEwen and Summer Carmichael. The Higher Spanish Award winner is Tess McCormack and our additional award winners at Higher Spanish are Zara Rousen and Gemma English. For National 5 French, our award winner is Amy Blythe and our additional award winners are Nina Tahir and Kirsty Allen. Our Higher French award winner is Felicity McElkinney and our additional Higher French Award winners are Julia Dawes and Emma Ritchie. At National 5 German, our award winner is Kieran Matteis. And our additional National 5 German Award winners are Hazel Adams and Nicola Wright. Our Higher German Award goes to Molly Quinn. And our additional Higher German Award winners are Matthew Potts, Kira Allenson and Belle McCormack. Well done all. The National 5 Music Technology Award winner is Kira Matthijs. The National 5 Music Technology Additional Award winners are Jamie Russell and Alexander Thompson. The National 5 Music Award winner is Callum Hunter. The National 5 Music Additional Award winners are Luke McIntosh and Sam Edgar. The Higher Music Award winner is Molly Quinn. The Higher Music Additional Award winners are Cara Hutchison and Nathan George. The Advanced Higher Music Award winner is Adam Roach. The Advanced Higher Music Additional Award winners are Christopher Kane and Eve Patterson. This year it is my pleasure to introduce the following year group awards. The Ivan Allen and Anne H. Thompson Award for the most distinguished pupil in S4, Kieran Matthijs. Proximia Akesit to the Ducks of S5, Andrew May. The Joint Ducks Award for S5, Emma Bruff, Charlotte Collins, Julia Dawes and Ewan Houston. Proximia case it to the Ducks of S6, Megan Atta. And the Ducks of S6, Emily Thompson. Congratulations to the winner of this year's PGS Creative Writing Award. Charlotte Collins. The Donna Stevens Award for Contribution to Science goes to Caitlin Walker. This year, the Stuart Hood Award goes to a pupil who has been an active member of the department since he joined in S1. He's been involved in various events throughout his school career as a performer, a member of the tech team and as an event organiser. 
He's never shied away from a challenge and was always prepared to go the extra mile to ensure events were successful, playing to the strengths of his peers to make sure everyone felt part of the team. With COVID restrictions in place last year, he was not able to take part in a arranged work experience. However, he didn't let this stop him. Instead, he developed his skills in online content, filming, editing, and added his already broad knowledge of sound production. He was instrumental in the creation of our virtual events and finished off his final year with our incredible PGS at the Musicals. Myself and the department couldn't be prouder of what he's achieved during his time at Paisley Grammar School and we wish him well in his future studies in sound production at the RCS. This year, the Stuarthood Award goes to Nathan Farmdale.